Making music has always been my biggest passion, but another passion of mine is video games. I started playing on my mom's Super Nintendo, then eventually I got a Game Boy, then a PlayStation, then a gaming PC, and all that good stuff. I've been exposed to video games the majority of my life, so making music specifically for a video game has always been on my bucket list. So I was ecstatic when Epic Games reached out to me and asked if I wanted to make music for the upcoming game. The game was Horizon Chase 2, an arcade-style racing game developed by Akira Studios. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I compose music for one of their levels. Epic Games asked me to get a bit more familiar with the game Game, and the easiest way to do that is to just straight up play it. So that's what we're gonna do for the first time today. They sent me an early copy, so I'm gonna try out the game for the first time right now. Can I pick a car? Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, let's just try this out. It's not this dark. It's really arcadey, it's really stylish, it's very fast. Ooh, has to. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This is speedy looking. Ooh, get out of the wind ball. Inside. I'm inside. Oh yeah. Oh there we go. That's light. Nice. The music itself is really arcadey, it's kind of like nostalgic feeling, and I guess I have to make music in that similar style. So they told me what level I'm going to be making. You can see at the bottom there's a bunch of countries, USA, Brazil, Italy, Japan, and they told me the level that I'm going to be making is going to be on the moon, and that's only going to be unlocked if you complete all of these first. So I have work to do. A few moments later. Now we are in the bonus country. I'm on the moon, and I'm making music for this first level right here. There's no music for it, we're just gonna kind of get a feel of what's going on here, and see what the vibe should be. Oh, this is a cool track. I know it's thematic for each of like the countries, so I guess there's gonna be some kind of space-themed ideas in this. No way, where are these guys? Straight away, we hit this on the straight away. Oh yeah, Wait, this is actually tough. I thought this was like a kitty game. Where do I suck? Oh, oh god. Ooh. I can't even get in 10. Let me get eight. I'm not getting seven. Oh my god, this game is so hard. <laughs> this game is so much more awkward without no music. Do I have any ideas right now? I'm not sure. I think I have to talk to them first. Hello, hello. Hey, Simon. How are you guys? Hey, Simon. How's it going, man? Good, good. So here we have some guidelines regarding the music. Fast tempo is something that's really important. It's because Horizon Chase sometimes feel almost like a rhythm game. You're watching signs, the curves and all that on the side of the track go by. To us, finding the correct tempo is really important because you become one with the song and the gameplay feel and the speed of the game itself. Mm. In general, the soundtrack of Horizon Chase 1 and 2 is very melodic. That's one of the top-notch aspects of our original composer, Barry Leach. He's like a very very inspired uh, to make great melodic themes that will stick in your mind for a long time. He did that since the days of Top Gear and the old games he used to make music for. So we always strive for very strong melodic themes. The, the main element of the first game was everything was synthesized. Mm -hmm. For the second one, we tried to go to a more realistic approach with more real instruments. But synths are always there. Mm -hmm. Or if it's not real played instruments, some real good quality samples, you know, to make it sound more realistic. So the first thing we have to look at is tempo. And what the guys at the meeting said was look at how fast the objects are passing by and then dictate the BPM from that. But it's in between 135 and 145. OK, and then we'll find our baseline. Let's figure out a chord progression. I want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be aggressively dark. So let me just get the chord progression there. It's like a walking down motion. All right, let's layer this with a kick. They want moon aesthetics. I think this works if we just make it quiet. It's like out of tempo, but it's kind of cool. It feels like natural. Spaceship sounds. Sure. So I had an idea. 
One of my favorite games is Rocket League, and since this is a racing game that's also by Epic Games, I kind of wanted to make it a little bit Rocket League inspired. Like they say to structure it like a song. So let's say after this intro section, we make it drop into a nice vocal chop beat. I might need to change up the bass line, but let's get the claps in first. That for sure. That for sure. Let's kind of just figure this out. It's gonna be kind of random. Dun, 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 dun. Simon. Hello, how are you? I'm great, man. It was really good. Really good first pass, in my opinion. So what we really liked about it, it sounds really modern. It doesn't sound very cheap tune game music. It mm. sounds like a song that could be playing on the radio, and that's a really cool thing. You use some of the sounds you really liked, like the, you use some vocals and some, almost like a sound design underneath mm -hmm. the track, which is really cool. I like the break, and you nail the BPM, which is, probably the, the main thing of our Horizon Chase 2 guidelines and it matches the speed of the game. So congrats on that. About some feedbacks, what we should pay attention or could we try to improve, the Dear Pedros is something that is completely present in the whole franchise. We could try to bring those a little bit more. The real sounding instruments, maybe we could try to add some acoustic instruments, mm -hmm. not necessarily acoustic, you know, some, some real not synth synthesized instruments. Mm -hmm. I think the overall here would be to try to make the track a little bit closer from the Horizon Chase 2 identity. Mm -hmm. I got off the meeting with Paolo the other day and it turns out it was a lot more work than I thought it's going to be. I thought I had to make like a beat that was just kind of chilling in the background, but it turns out they want something that's kind of upfront, stands out thematically, and I haven't made melodies like that in a while. So it's gonna be a fun little change. He said we gotta make a build up section and then like a really epic satisfying drop i think we gotta go to a different chord progression so we can go here maybe just walk up like this i'm not sure what the melody is yet so let's just build the chord progression first kind of change up the rhythm instead of that four on the floor just change up the look a bit like that They wanted a lot more arpeggio, so we gotta make that. This is good background. This still needs something. Collapse in here. So after that, I think let's go back to the original chord progression. We just have to add a different melody to it. Do this main melody. This one I want it to be like a bit faster. All right, let's record this in. A second. Here we go. It's here. There we go. Holy, that took a while. Okay, they said to incorporate more live instruments. So I think I'm gonna layer a guitar under this. I need a pick. SD card. As you guys know, I can't play guitar. So we do this slowly. All right. Woo, hate you. 
Then we bring the chorus. And now we're at around three minutes on the dot. Hey, Simon. Hello, how are you? We can see that you made a lot of different parts for the track. You added some melodic moments that are working really great. The melody is cool, it's catchy. And also you got the mood of the track, the atmosphere mm -hmm. really well. I just want to say that the track is really good mm -hmm. because we have a lot of feedbacks of stuff we want to try to change or adjust or just some considerations and points of attention. I was discussing with Israel that if we were to launch just the way it is right now, it would work, you know. Mm -hmm. Since we have this extra week and we really see the potential in this track, uh, we decided to make some points here maybe to make it even cooler you know at least for the game mm -hmm. the track might be a, a tiny bit linear or flat still add more dynamics to the track overall mm -hmm. maybe that's that's the point i'm trying to bring here maybe bring some instruments louder some lower you know mm -hmm. so we, we don't have this flat feel you know and i think that's it thanks a lot for your hard work man you're, doing, you're, yeah. you're, you're working fast and super well thank you for that i got off the meeting with paulo the other day and i heard some pretty good things just a lot of like little details that i have to fix you know mixing stuff just some nitpicky little things that i have to add in transitions but there's like nothing i don't think i'm making anything new it's just like a lot of touching up and stuff which is very important part of the process but low-key boring low-key boring as hell i'm gonna add this little high pass here just to kind of switch up the look a bit high pass here bring it back up yeah just a mixing guitar can be turned down a bit he asked for a tiny bit of variation on the second verse, so I'm just gonna like, just add like random vocal chops. That's a cool one. I think I'm done. Yeah. I added the instruments, added some more extra layers, transitions, some automations, then mixing, mastering. And you already liked it before. I'm sure this is, he's not going back for more revisions. All right, I think we're done. All right, guys, game company just hit me up. They told me my music's in the level now. So let's do this for reals with music. I'm so excited. I've actually been playing the game a bit too. We're not using this bum ass car from last time. We're getting the, the sexy pink one. Can we go? Here we go. This is so sick. Oh, this, is so this is so cool. Oh, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Let me get those. I'm, I'm actually trying to win this thing too. Why is this game still hard? I have like a sick card now. Get the hell out of the way. Oh, God. Stop. Okay, one lap. We can do this. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, this is getting me hype. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm in first. Here we go. This is so sick. I did it. Light. That's light. That felt good. If I didn't make it, I felt like, oh, that didn't stick out too much. That was too noticeable, but, you know, kind of motivated me still to keep going. I felt, I felt like I did a good job. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's really nice to meet you, man. Very, uh, you too. so I'm just making a video about the entire process. I'd love to show it to you to get your sure. opinion. All right, let's check this one out. All right, it's a good start. Is that speech in the background? Yeah, some astronaut talking, ah. ambient stuff. I don't know if I like that vocal. <laughs> I don't know if I'd gone for another repetition double there. Kill. I don't know if I had a double that with it, but you got piano and a guitar. I just kept one or the other. I don't mean to be too critical here, man. No, no, no. We, we all, by all means, you're the master. Yeah, it's repeating a lot. Monster I'd have made a double take that kill. gone faster. Yeah, the bass groove is good, but that speech that's singing there. <laughs> I would added variations rather double than repetitions. Sorry, I've been so critical. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't mind it. Please be honest. It's, uh, yeah, you did a lot of things that I'm not sure I would have done. I would. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thanks, Simon. You too. Take care. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.